Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Lady Morales and in today's video, we're going to be doing a resort tour at one of my favorite resorts at Disney World, which is the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort. I think next to the Disney Beach Resort is one of my favorites. So I attempted to do this back in October when I came during the fall and the audio was just completely obnoxious and crazy on that video. So this is my second attempt in doing this video and funny story, so happens today as I bring my mics and make sure everything is working well, I forget my adapter for my wireless mic. So we're going old school, we're going to be using headphones and like one of the little clippy things from one of my wireless mics. I think it still works well, you guys let me know in the comments, but regardless, today we're going going to be taking a complete tour of the Disney Caribbean Beach and hopefully after today's video you'll decide if this is a resort that you would want to stay with your family because again I think it has a lot to offer there's some pros there's some cons overall though let's see what happens let's see what you guys think let me know in the comments what you guys think and of course let's get this started let's get the show on the road <laughs> fact I was starving when I came to the resort this morning I was absolutely starving I arrived last night to Orlando um, and I arrived at my friend's house and I was just absolutely starving and I had to get something to eat and I came to the marketplace here at the Disney um, Caribbean Beach which was at the um, Old Port Royale um, next to the beach right at the main entrance and I absolutely devoured two tacos and a, a Cuban pork sandwich with, with fries and fruit it was so absolutely good again I was ravenous I had an eight hour drive I came in last night so there you have it but I will definitely be showing you guys the videos of the food that I've had along with the entrance to the lobby so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so this is the main entryway to the Disney Caribbean Beach, the main entrance. This is a quick parking area if you're just here to pick up a mobile order, or just need to pick up, drop off something. If it's less than 30 minutes, you can definitely park in that area. But this is where the Magical Express, until they disappear and are replaced by something else, but this is where the Magical Express will drop you off or pick you up. And if you need to check in your bags, if you need any sort of um, assistance with bringing your bags to your room, they can assist you right here at Bell Services. But this is the main entrance. We are here at the main entrance. Once again, Bell Services is there. If you need any assistance with carrying your luggage to your room, they can assist you with that. But let's go ahead and go inside. Guys, so we are in the Disney Caribbean Beach. Right to your right is gonna be the bathrooms and any ATM machine and ATM machine. Here is if you wanna inquire about the Disney Vacation Club. But this is the main entrance. This is the lobby area if you need to wait until your room is ready but this is a really nice area that they have set up for anybody or any um, guests who need to wait for anything very nice very nice detail look at the upstairs i mean not the upstairs but the ceiling isn't that nice and then over here is going to be where you check in as you can see Six feet markers are marked on the floor, but any lovely guest, I mean, cast member will assist you from here if you need to check in. More waiting areas. So let's go to the first on site Disney merch store. I think it's the only on site Disney merch store here at the resort. All right, so let's go ahead and walk into the first on site Disney merch store, which is a Calypso Trading Post. I open Monday through Sunday, 8 through 10 p.m. magic always choose magic that's a really cute shirt I have a shirt like this but in white all right guys so we are in the Disney Calypso 
store. Very island theme. Here's some ears. I think I'm gonna wait till I head to Epcot to buy my ears. Here they have some selection of wines, candy, some drinks, which you can actually get them cheaper somewhere else. This is what you get here. Really cute luggage, some souvenirs. the island theme here though so nice all right guys so here we're at the center town market this is where I got the lovely food very inspired from the islands as you guys can see um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your mobile order here or on the Disney app excuse me and then when it's ready you'll be able to pick it up you'll follow these markers and then hello and then They'll let you know. One of the lovely cast members will let you know if it's ready. It has like three different little ways that you can pick up your food. And it'll let you know your Disney app or one of the cast members will let you know. Here's the condiment napkin utensil station. Once again. So the food here, as you guys can see, is very island inspired. They have like Cuban. Um, Bahama, Haitian inspired food, lots of plantains. Here's your beverage station, the seating area inside. All right, now if you want the option to eat outside, which is where I eat, very nice scenery. You have a really good view of the Disney Riviera Resort. your options for you if you wanted to eat outside right now it is about 80 degrees here in Orlando not too bad I definitely ate outside also some chairs if you just want to have a really good view of the lake and of the resort very nice this is the barefoot bay marina this is if you wanted to get on the yacht though I don't know what the regulations and stipulations are to get on the yacht it's just a really nice area and a nice view all right guys, so here where the little yacht is, you can step down here and just admire the skyline from here, have fun, relax. So nice, such a good view. I'm so happy the weather's perfect today and not like 95 degrees. So if you keep moving past the yacht, there is a cute little like boardwalk area. I'm assuming this is where a restaurant used to be before it closed during the pandemic. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> but regardless though, if you wanna just come up here and chill and look at the, again, the Riviera, the skyline, the people getting on the yachts, you can definitely do that. But it does lead you to the bar here at the Disney's Caribbean Beach. So this restaurant right here actually is called the Sebastian's Bistro, which is closed right now, but Right next to it, you will see the bar at Disney's Caribbean Beach, the Banana Cabana. And you know what, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and get a drink. Yep, I'm gonna get a drink. Now, before I get a drink, I do wanna go ahead and let you guys know that look what is right next to it. The Caribbean Beach Pool. This pool is actually one of my favorite pools here at the Disney Resort. I would say probably my favorite one is the Aztec pool at Coronado Springs and also the Yacht and Beach Club pool. Though I've never been to the Yacht and Beach Club, it looks really nice. But this is the pool, as you guys can see. Now I'm not gonna go in there and record people like a creep. But you guys can see from here how nice it is. And I'll try to go around. If you guys can see the little boat over there. So nice. Oh, I would love to take a swim here. All right, so this once again, this is a cute little area for the kids. Again, this is one of the, my favorite pools here at Disney. Look at that. This is a little kiddie pool. This, this little bucket will fill up with water and then like triple over. Very nice here. Once again, it reminds me a lot of the Disney Coronado Springs pool with the Aztec. It has kind of like the same style, but not really. Really nice though. Really nice here. Of course, here's a little walkway with the cute little 
tangled looking lamps so nice i have a video of this area at night it's actually really really nice for you guys so so beautiful great day to be at a pool all right let's go ahead and get a drink let's do it guys Okay, I'll go ahead and get the pink guava colada. Yeah, I'll get the pink guava colada. The guava colada. All right guys, now for the taste test. Cheers. This is so delicious. Oh. Mm. I was chatting it up with one of the bartenders here at the Banana Cabana, and she let me try this piña colada. It's like the Jamaican colada something with Bailey. I don't know. I'll list the ingredients and everything somewhere here. Oh my god. So good. It has like a taste of like, I don't even know how to explain it. Uh -huh. It's so good. I would order this, but it's already a little too much sugar. I'm still working on my first drink. Get this drink though. If I could go back, if I would have known, I would have, I would definitely order this drink first. You guys, they hook you up here at Disney. This cast member gave me some Disney magic today. Gave me two free drinks. What a gem. Please make sure you guys come to the Banana Cabana. I'm about to hop on to take the rest of the tour. As you guys can see, it is getting busy. You guys, shout out to Miss Jojo at the Banana Cabana who hooked me up with some Disney magic and let me try a few of their drink selections, which I will definitely be coming back to get that at Colada. But I want to show you guys kind of how it's looking like at the pool right now. Look at this. It's nothing but a pool party here. Love this resort. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with our actual tour of the entire property. Take two. We're going to head in over to the Caribbean Cay through this boardwalk. So this is a Caribbean Cay playground. This area is really beautiful at night or like during dawn, um, dusk, I should say. But it's a really nice area to come and just have a little photo session and relax. Look at the lake that separates the Riviera from the Caribbean beach. Like the little Discovery Trail at Animal Kingdom. But this is what this little area is. Really nice. Look at the view. Look at the view from here, y'all. I apologize if I'm moving the camera too fast. I have a drink in my hand. I have carrying my little mic or my little ear, um, ear pod, ear pod, whatever you want to call it. How cute. This looks like a little area for like to play golf. But, you know what? 
This is the entryway to get back into the little trail to go back to the rooms. I've never been through this way before, so let's go here. All right, guys, as I am taking this tour, I want to let you guys know that the resort is split up into different sections. It is split up into Barbados, Jamaica, Martinique, Trinidad, and one more that I'm forgetting. So we're going to go through each little area um, and go in a little bit more detail so you guys can get the full round and the full view of the Disney Caribbean Beach which is one of my favorites. Can you guys tell the alcohol has been kicking in? The alcohol is definitely kicking in. So I'm going to try to calm down and walk this out. All right, guys, so here's a little playground here at the Caribbean Beach. Really cute area if you want to bring your kids. Hello, how are you? Doing well, thank you. This is just a cute little area to come bring the kiddos if they need to exert some energy. I don't know what kids would need to exert some energy at, their, at Disney World, <laughs> but just in case. Across from the playground is another area you can enjoy at dusk sunrise and they have even like cute little benches to enjoy but view of the river and the skyliner still debating if i want to get on the skyliner but as you guys can see there's some people who are just relaxing having a good time trying to enjoy the the calmness of this area so yeah here's a view if you guys want to come chill over here i'm getting all like jungle book vibes here though all right guys, now we're headed in to look at our first set of resorts. But again, as you guys can see, the Skyliner is flowing, or they're right above us. And so the Caribbean Beach is a Skyliner resort. So you do have the Skyliner option for transportation if you need to get around the Disney World parks or, Disney, or the Disney resorts. Right now we're gonna enter into Jamaica and Trinidad. I think we're gonna start left with Jamaica and Trinidad, yeah. Entering into Jamaica, as you guys can see, beautiful like yellow orange themed resorts. Each quote unquote island has their own pool, FYI, and then there's that big pool for the entire resort, which again, is one of the best resorts. So here's one of the rooms. I'm gonna show you guys an overlay of how the rooms look like. The last time I came, I stayed in Jamaica. These rooms are just so pretty. You want an island vibe? Come to Disney Caribbean Beach. Um, and each area here, I'll, I'll make my way here. Each area or each apartment area has like ice vending machine. No, a vending machine and ice machine. You guys can hear the Skyliner. But this is Jamaica.
is the pool for Jamaica. If you want to step away from the craziness and just enjoy a little peace time, quiet time. The pools in each individual island are quiet for the most part. A lot more laid back. Another cool thing about the Disney Caribbean beach is it has this area where each island has this little like sandy area with hammocks and little like beach chairs if you just want to take a look um, out into the resort and this is a view from Jamaica in this little sandy area but it's really nice especially like at at the sunset and when the lights and everything are coming on here like the little lamp the corner street lights or whatever here it's just a really nice area if you want to come just chill and swing on a hammock super nice and we are leaving Jamaica and we're going to enter into Barbados and then Trinidad it's parked in Barbados I think yeah so let's go guys this is I believe Barbados right there Barbados where Rihanna's from right outside of Jamaica is the Disney Skyliner very conveniently like literally Jamaica's right there like part of the area of Jamaica's right there Skyliner's right there and if you guys see that little area the little what do you call it a little building right there Right there and um, that is a jaw freeze if you wanted to get a quick pick me up before heading out to the parks wherever it is that you're gonna go via the Skyliner so one of the other pros about staying at the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort it is a Skyliner um, resort over here we have Trinidad um, I'm just gonna play some overlay footage of Trinidad because it is so far out guys <laughs> So I guess that's one of the cons of the Disney Caribbean Beach. Well, I don't know how you want to call it. I think it's actually pretty cool that this resort is so big. I want to say it's like the same size as probably like Disney Coronado Springs. I'm not sure. But um, it's a little bit out there. But that is the area of Trinidad. And it overlooks a really beautiful little lake. So if you're staying over there at Trinidad, that is the area. And again, it has its own pool. Um, vending machine, ice machine, all that great stuff. Like I said, every island has like their own area, like their own specific like amenities. Well, the same amenities, like the same pool, vending machine, um, all of that great stuff, walkways, all of that. If I can recommend you guys stay, it would be in Barbados. I think Barbados is probably the best location out of the entire resort, but I've always stayed at Jamaica, um, just cause that's always been the, the area I've been assigned. Maybe in the future I'll request an, um, a room in um, Barbados, but I think for the most part, um, this is what you get if you go stay at Trinidad. And then of course over here, right across from us is Jamaica. So let's go ahead and head on over to Barbados and then we'll make our walkway around to the Riviera or the other way around. I'm not sure yet. All right, guys, I changed my mind. We're actually gonna go the other way. We're going into Aruba. And we're gonna do the entire walkway that goes from the Disney Caribbean beach all the way around the Riviera back to the Disney Caribbean beach. So let me show you guys how that looks like. We're gonna go all the way around, working off those fries from earlier. All right guys, so this walkway that I'm going on or that I'm walking on is, I've noticed a lot of runners and joggers use this and walk and run every morning here. Well, I wouldn't know every morning, but I've seen every morning that I've stayed here that a lot of runners like to go on this pathway and run all across Riviera and the Disney Caribbean beach. So just a really nice view of the sand, the trees, the lake, the resorts. Really nice. Just imagine at, um, at dawn how it looks like. Oh, so pretty. Once again, this is the Aruba area. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the pool without seeming like a creeper. But like I said, the pools on each island, quote unquote, are a lot more laid back and quiet and relaxed. So this is the Aruba pool. They're all pretty much the same format, just honestly change of color. So yeah. Here is the Skyliner um, from the Riviera Resort. Let me know in the comments if you are staying at the Aruba area or anywhere in Disney Coronado or why do people want to call it this Coronado? Caribbean Beach. Can you sneak in and ride the Skyliner from here? I'm sure you can because it transports you to other places. All right, guys, here is the Riviera Resort that we're approaching. So beautiful. Tempted to go in there, but I'm on a mission today. We're approaching the walkway into the Riviera 
on this running trail. So it is a running trail. But again, this is the view from here. The view from here. The pool. Oh look, I think we see Pluto if I'm not mistaken. Let's get closer. Now here's one of the other pools at the Riviera. We'll have to save a Riviera resort tour for another day. But I don't know, this pool looks really promising. Now I want to get into a pool. Making my way into the Riviera. Look who I see out here for a pool day tanning. <laughs> it's Goofy and Pluto. Look. Hi guys. They're out here taking a good solid tan. Oh, look. Out here tanning, Pluto. Look, look who else is out here tanning. Oh, look, it's Goofy. Having, enjoying your pool day, Goofy? Enjoying your pool day? <laughs> Oh, uh, tanning? Uh, you look tan. <laughs> oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> Bye, Goofy. All right, guys, we left the Riviera. Got a great surprise from Pluto and Goofy, but now we're entering into... Trinidad, I think. Might have gotten these confused. Regardless though, here we are, all the way over there, from over there to here. Quiet, chill, laid back. All right guys, well there you guys have it for the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort tour. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to decide to come here. It's an extremely incredible resort with so much to offer. It has its pros and it does also has its cons, but I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons. So let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys have an amazing, magical day. Bye-bye.